Amazon A plus content is one of the most overlooked aspects of any KDP business. Not only does it make your books look a lot more professional, it allows you to stand out from your competition and also massively increases your books conversion rate. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how you can create your own Amazon A plus content from scratch to not only increase your books conversion rate, but also to maximize your book sales. So jumping straight into it, here is an example of a book currently on Amazon that is utilizing Amazon A plus content. And as you can see from the default KDP listing, you really don't get an awful lot of information about the book. All you really see is the both a very two dimensional photo of the front cover and also the back cover. You have the option to use the look inside feature if you are on PC, but you have to remember if you're on the Amazon mobile app or any sort of thing on your mobile, you can't actually use this look inside feature. So potential customers without a Amazon A plus content aren't going to be able to see what's actually inside your book, which is why it is so important. If we just scroll down to the A plus content on this book, you can kind of see exactly what it is and what it's maybe doing for a potential customer. Now, in my opinion, this isn't the most optimized kind of A-plus content I've ever seen. Um, and there are a couple of reasons for this, and I will cover that in this video. But in my opinion, there are two main things that your Amazon A-plus content absolutely must be doing. First thing is it must be showing a physical version of your book. So kind of a three-dimensional mock-up that just gives the customer a little bit more information and visualization of what your book actually looks like, rather than just showing this really boring two-dimensional um, image that you can see here. Secondly, which to be fair, this listing has done, they show a little bit more information about the interior. So again, you have to remember that they can't see the look inside feature on the Amazon mobile app. So give them a bit of a taste of what the actual interior of the book looks like, which you can see. This actual listing itself, I'm not really too sure why this kind of third image is in there. So I actually wouldn't include that. So for me, my Amazon A plus content predominantly uses just two images um, to kind of convey those two main important points that I just mentioned. So how exactly do you go about making your Amazon A plus content itself? First thing you need to do is jump into this website here, which is on your Amazon KDP hub. It's kdp.amazon.com slash marketing slash manager. And you will come to this screen here. And all you need to do is go to the A plus content section and then choose the marketplace that you want to do. So you have to remember that every single piece of A plus content is specific to a certain marketplace. So if you want to do it in the UK and the US, you have to do a separate one for the UK and a separate one for the US. So for this example, I'm just going to choose my amazon.co.uk and then press this manage A plus content. And once this is loaded in, you can see all the um, A plus contents um, that I've currently have active at the moment. I am going to blow these out because obviously I don't want people knowing um, the books that I'm making. But all you need to know is you have to just press this start creating A plus content button up here. And that will take you through to the main A plus content page. The first thing you need to do here is include a content name. So I'm just going to show, I'm just going to put it as example book um, for the example of this video. And then this is the main part of any Amazon A plus content, actual module bits. First of all, you have to press on this add module and there are lots of different kind of types of A plus content um, that you can use. One that I always recommend doing and I use for my books is the standard, standard image header with text. You actually don't have to include any of the text here. You can just have an image. So all of my A plus content is just images, kind of similar as you see in this book here um, in this example. So you can see here that the actual ratio of the Amazon books is 970 by 600 pixels. So the next thing you need to then do is jump into Canva and then make our Amazon A plus content. So once you're in Canva, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your Canva template is set up to the right size. So 970 as the width by 600 pixels as the height, which matches exactly what the Amazon A plus content kind of section says online. What I then do is I'll just duplicate the first page then to create two separate pages for our A plus content. And as I said, the first page is basically going to be there to show a physical version of the book to give the reader a bit more information about the specific book itself, along with some sort of catchy headline to kind of entice them in. And then the second um, image is going to be a bit more information about the interior of the book to show them actually what's inside the book. So they don't have to go on the look inside feature or also not be able to do it on the phone. So they're the two kind of criteria we're ticking off with two different images of the books. So I'm going to work my way through actually making it um, live now. If you want to skip through, then feel free. But I'm going to try and include everything in here just so you kind of know exactly what I do step by step to create this A plus content. And the first thing I do to create this A plus content is actually make um, an example mock up. So just for um, a bit of explanation, this is just a completely random book. I've just come up with it off the top of my head and just a template that I've made. This isn't a book that I've actually published or one that you could publish. Um, this is just purely for demonstration purposes. So I've called it Fun Paper Games. As you can see, I've kind of got this physical um, 3D looking image of this book, which just make looks a lot better than the kind of the 2D image that you can see here that Amazon would generally list up. So you can compare that to, to this. This just looks a lot more professional. So you can see this is kind of the, um, the 3D mock-up that I've done. 
And how exactly I actually went about doing this is I went to a website called DIYBookCovers.com and then just do the slash 3D mockups. And there's loads of different book mockups that you can use here. It's really, really straightforward to use. All you wanna do is just press any sort of book cover you want. So let's just say we go for this one. Just click next and then just press browse and upload your own um, photo for that. So all it needs to be is just a, P a PNG 2D image. All you do, press next, download, and this is kind of what it will spit out. So it's a really, really useful tool for making your A plus content. So once I've done that then, the next thing I need to do is kind of create some sort of background. So I'm gonna to wanna to bring in a square if possible here. Um, I'm gonna, it's gonna automatically kind of make it as your, either your book, um, your, sorry, your Canva default palette, um, or related to the color of the book. So it's kind of a similar color. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is um, at the back, which it seems to be, no, it's not at this point. So center back, so put this behind everything. So this is gonna be our background for our, um, a plus content and as you can see it's probably a little bit too similar to the color of this book so you want to have a bit of a play around um, and kind of just change it so the book actually stands out and pops a little bit more um, than just um, what the default color it gives you is so that's what we're going to go for we're going to go for with that as kind of our background um, and again it's going to take a little bit of chopping and changing as we go through and then we're going to want to put some text in so let's just go for a standard text here um, and let's make sure it's the same color as the yellow because uh, we want to make it kind of consistent and on brand with the book that we've got. So again, the camera will be really good and kind of read into the images on the page and kind of suggest the, the colors that are kind of used here um, and the same ones that you can you can choose to actually make in, in your text. So then we're going to want to go ahead and choose a, uh, a font. Again, I'm not going to rush to spend too much time on this. It's going to be a little bit rushed, but just going to give you the idea of exactly how it is. You would go about it if you were to do it. So let's just say um, hours of... Um, paper game fun for six to 10 year, oops, six to 20, bit of a wide age range, six to 10 year olds. And let's just make this a little bit smaller. Uh, make this exclamation mark. And then at the bottom, what I'm gonna do here is I like to just kind of include a little bit more information about what is actually specifically in the book. So we just make this a lot smaller. So we'll go for, 15 there, pull this down, and then just say something like uh, hangman um, dot, I don't know, uh, dot to two dot, um, crosswords, and many more. Again, this isn't gonna be the highest quality A plus content, but I'm just showing you um, just basically how you would actually go about doing it. So that's kind of an example. Another thing you can do is um, just bring in some sort of background um, to make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm just having a plain um, image at the back. Oh, what you can do is just kind of find some sort of cool background or um, contrast for you to put in. So let's just see what this is doing. So we'll bring this in uh, and spread that across. Actually, we'll go to, to there, just copy and paste that in and then put that there. And then just send these to the back so they sit behind the book and the actual words itself. So hours of... Um, Hours of paper game fun for six to 10 year olds. Again, this is just an example. I probably wouldn't use this background actually because it's kind of similar to the text, but again, it, it takes a little bit of time to do this and you don't want me to watch me spend half an hour going through all of these books. So once you've done that, that's kind of our first page. I'm just gonna go down and see, oh cool, fun paper games. That's, that's actually what it looks like as a book. Just looks a little bit more engaging than just the 2D versions. And also you can see it's kind of a, a an eye catching and a kind of a statement out there, hours of paper game fun for six to 10 year olds. So you're not just saying this is a great book, you're saying what the book actually provides. They're not just buying a book for the sake of buying a book, they're buying a book for a specific reason. And that reason is to provide hours of fun for six to 10 year olds. And then just include a little bit more of specifically about what is in the book. So we'll then move on to the second part of the A plus content section, which is gonna be a little bit more information about the interior of the book, as you've already said. And earlier in the video, I told you to duplicate the page at the start. Actually, that's pretty bad advice. Um, just delete this page. And then what you wanna do is just duplicate the original one that you've done, just so you keep all the formatting and the branding is consistent. So basically, we'll just keep this background with the kind of um, dots in there, just so it's consistent with the image above. And then just lock this in place so that everything here is set in stone and we can't really change any of it. So in terms of the actual interior of the books, the website I generally use for this is a website called smartmockups.com. Normally in the day of recording this, for some reason the website isn't really working to its full functionality. So I won't be able to download it and actually show you examples here. But what you wanna do is just go into books 
and it'll give you loads of different mock-up ideas for your book. So if you want to use um, these mock-ups for your kind of interior, uh, sorry, your front cover, rather than just using this basic one here, there's loads in smart mock-ups. You can literally do whatever you want. As I said, this is just an example um, of how you can do it. You can literally customize however you want to do. So there's some really cool real life kind of examples of your book here. But the ones we're actually looking for is for the book interior pages. So if we keep scrolling down, maybe onto the second page, you can find the actual book interior sections here. So there you go. There's some book interiors here. That's actually kind of a different size to the book we're actually looking to do. But here's a great example of what we can do. So we've got this one here, or we've got this one here. If you just click into this one here, and this is what I mean by the website being down. Annoyingly, it doesn't load at the moment. So for some reason, there's something wrong with the website at the time of recording. But hopefully, while, uh, by the time this video is out, this will be fully functioning um, and you'll be able to use it yourself. What you need to do then is just press upload from here and it will upload an image from your kind of your desktop for both of the two pages. And then just press download. And what you'll have is your very own version of this mock-up here of your book interior, which will look really, really professional. Again, you can kind of use it as a background so you can get rid of this if you want to or include it on top of this background. Again, it's completely customizable and completely up to you. I'm just showing you kind of how you would go about doing it and then the rest of it is entirely how you want it to look. But annoyingly, because we can't use that here, I'm gonna to have to kind of improvise. And what I'm just gonna do is keep it really simple um, and just drop in the two images of my pages here. So these are just very basic example pages. So I've got a dot to dot here and I've also got um, a noughts and crosses here. So let's just scroll down and just put these um, kind of in the middle and make them a little bit bigger. Let's just make sure they are the same size and pull them all up so they are a little bit like that. Let's just see if we make it a little bit smaller actually. Cool. And then you want to do is drop in some text. So again, we're going to go for the same font that we used as last time, which is the Helsinki regular. I think you might need Canva Pro for this, but there's so many fonts out there that you don't need Canva Pro for. And then we just want to kind of sell a bit more about our interior. So let's just give a bit more information for the customer to use. So let's just say 150 pages of children's favorites, fav, how about I spell, favorite book activities. And then just make this something like that and make it a little bit smaller. So I'll just go for 40, see what that looks like. Um, and have to make this, let's make this a little bit longer. Let's put this at the top um, there. And then what I like to do for these kind of books is go for effects. So I like to go for the splice um, effects when it kind of makes your, your text pop out a little bit more and a lot more easy for the um, consumer to read. So we just make our standard color. Uh, let's go for white, make this offset zero, and then make the actual color of the surrounding text. Let's make it that. No, we'll swap it with it around. So make that white and then we'll make the actual text itself. Sorry, we'll make the edited text color yellow. So it kind of stands out a little bit more than it does in this one. So again, just have a bit of a play around um, as you like. And we'll just keep that 150 pages of your, of your of children's favorite book activities. Um, and then copy and paste this. Let's just say we have three pages in there and that can kind of be our second page. So this is kind of how you would do your A plus content. This is actually a pretty bad example because again, I don't have the, the smart mockups available today, which for some reason is really annoying. But that's generally what I would do. I'd have the kind of this smart mock-up here. And rather than having this background, um, I'd actually just get rid of this and just have this as the entire page, just so you can see exactly what's in the interior um, of the book. So what you wanna do then is once you've got those both downloaded, just press share and then just press download. And you wanna download these as both uh, PNGs and it will just basically download um, from Canva. You don't want to go into um, Amazon here and then just press click to add image. So if I click onto here and then let's just see if we can um, show these in folder. So once the images have both downloaded, go back into your Amazon A plus content manager and then just press click to add image. And this is where we're going to upload um, our different images here. So I'm going to drag and drop these from my file. So the first one here is that first one that we showed um, and just press add. So we have to put image keywords to so just go for main, um, Main header. I don't actually think this really matters what you put in here. I'm just going to put main header in there. And then for the second one, add another module. We're going to then add exactly the same. So standard image header with text. And then just do exactly the same as we did before. So drag and drop the second one in. Again, hopefully your A plus content will be a little bit more detailed than this because it takes a little bit of time um, and it's definitely worth putting the time into it. I'm just doing this as an example in this video to show you step by step how you would go about doing it. So we're going to go for here and just put second image. Well, let's just go for uh, a bit more information. 
interior image and then just press add. And what are these going to do? They're going to upload and then once they're done, all you need to do is then go into next apply ASINs, click into here and then basically just put in the ASINs of all of the books that you have. Um, so go into Amazon itself. For those of you that don't know, ASINs is, is basically this number here. So you go down to your product details and just copy and paste that ASIN uh, into this section here and then select all of the ASINs. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is just press review and submit and Amazon will, will review the A plus content and then it will be approved and it should be uploaded onto your actual book within 72 hours of doing it. So that is how you produce A plus content for your books. Again, apologies if this doesn't look necessarily the highest quality. Um, the examples used in here are just literally examples um, and spend a little bit more time on it than I have done here because it is really important to increase the conversion rate of your books. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, you can use smart mockups and kind of have a play around with lots of these different designs. Um, but that's a really good website for you to use for your A plus content. So if you did enjoy this video and you found it useful, then please do leave a like and also subscribe for more KDP videos on this channel. And I will see you in the next one.